we have so few Olympians and me Olympic medalists because there are only so few that are actually playing the sports. The opportunity that is available for playing a sport and then excelling in a sport is far too limited in our country. So I would presume if 5,000 players are playing and if you have two or three medals at the Olympics, that's a great ratio. Now what we need to do is broad base the opportunity, broad base the, um, the, the, uh, the level at which people are getting an opportunity to play and excel. So what do we have to work on? Two things mainly. First, we have to work on an opportunity for good sports. Second is uh, coaches, good quality coaches. And third is we do these two and then bring them to a level of competition so that they can compete and aspire to get better. So when do you work hard in the, with your books? You work hard because there is an examination happening. Mm -hmm. So do you wait for the, uh, the MA examinations at the college? No, you work for every examination, right? And so we need to, rather than wait for the Olympics, we created a level of competition of the level of Olympics for under 17 in India, which is Kelo India School Games. Sports is a state subject. The states are responsible for developing and investing into the grassroots infrastructure. Then it's a federation-led system. Every sports has a federation. The federations are supposed to develop the sport and also work towards excellence of sports. Mm -hmm. Where Ministry of Sports comes in is a supporter for both the states as well as for the federations and invest into pure excellence. But what we are doing now is that we are investing right at the grassroots level. We are creating, uh, in Kelo India, we are creating play fields around the country, uh, opportunities for people to play that is. Then we are, we are setting up a system wherein uh, there's a very high level of aspirational competition, which is Kelo India School Games of under 17. Then we are coming, coming up with Kelo India's college games, which is under 21. Then we are picking up people who do not get the sponsorship from the potential that they have and take them forward to the to podiums. Mm -hmm. So this is the age when they do not get any sponsorship. The government of India is coming up with the first support, uh, which is of 5 lakh rupees per year for 1,000 athletes per year. And we will give this 5 lakhs every year for eight years continuously. And every year, we will pick up 1,000 more athletes. So in five years, we will have 5,000 athletes getting support for eight years continuously. And right now, we are picking up athletes at the age of 16, right? Because we've just begun. But our vision is that in three to four years, we will be picking up athletes who are 12 years old and then giving them support for eight years. The common complaint in sports is that they do not pick up the right talent. Yeah. So what we have done is we've identified, in fact, we've, we've brought out uh, uh, the Dronacharya awardees and Arjuna awardees who've given their life for sports and who know so much about sports. And we have about 60 of them right now. They are part of the panel uh, who are selecting these sportsmen into in various uh, stadiums, in various events. And so these Dronacharya awardees and Arjuna awardees are going to become a, a core team for selecting and monitoring the talent ahead. This is up to the state to select the team. When they select the team, uh, and we've comprised a team of the local federations, the state federations, and the state education department to choose the team collectively. When they have their annual sports day, when they choose their team for districts and then finally the state, it is players from all these rural areas as well as urban areas who will be competing together. Kelo India School Games, there is a representation from rural as well as from urban areas. Number two, we have a national talent portal, which anyone who feels that there is a talent can identify that person and upload a video or send us a message through the talent portal and we will send our officers and assess the quality of the athlete there. Being the same person, the hunger to go and do it remains the same. 
the challenge that time was to hit two targets. The challenge now is to get the, all the states to do well. Um, uh, there's a great sense of satisfaction now, uh, having begun something that is so unique and nice. And I feel so good that the Prime Minister of India's entire uh, might is with uh, the sports ministry. Uh, the, the whole attitude of uh, Indians has changed. Uh, everybody wants to win. Uh, it's just not for competing at the Olympic Games. It's always about winning medals at the Olympic level. So a lot of things have changed. Uh, infrastructure has become better. Uh, number of shooting uh, arenas that have sprung up in the whole country is much more. The uh, ability to import uh, foreign equipment has become very easy and without any custom duty for a large number of sports persons. Uh, the sports ministry is now funding much more and much easier. So things are, things are getting much easier and simpler. Uh, so obviously now what we need is broad basing the system so that more people are participative. Uh, corporate sector is joining in. Look at the number of athletes who are non-cricketers and who are doing well. Uh, and these athletes are now becoming icons. So uh, leagues are coming in. So this is all brilliant.